Saudi Arabia has heavily invested in desalination technologies, a $100 billion mega project that wants to provide water for the entire world. Which brings us to NEOM, Saudi Arabia's vision for the future. Believe me when I say this, even one of the world's richest nations is having a water crisis. Any idea who? We are talking about the majestic royals, the beasts of the Middle East, Saudi Arabia. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the topic of today's special video, a $100 billion mega project that wants to provide water for the entire world. We all know quite well, Saudi Arabia has but two liquids, oil and water. But even for most, the water is running low. Saudi Arabia is predominantly desert and has very limited natural fresh water sources such as rivers and lakes. The country relies heavily on non-renewable fossil water aquifers, which are finite and depleting rapidly. The demand for water in Saudi Arabia is driven by factors such as rapid growth, population, urbanization, industrialization, and agricultural activities. Agriculture in particular accounts for a significant portion of water consumption in the country. To meet the growing water demand, Saudi Arabia has heavily invested in desalination technologies. Desalination involves converting seawater into fresh water by removing salt and impurities. While this has helped mitigate water scarcity to some extent, it is energy intensive and can have negative environmental impacts. Traditional agricultural practices include inefficient irrigation methods, contribute to excessive water usage, and of course, modernizing and adopting more efficient irrigation techniques could help conserve water. Climate change exacerbates water scarcity by altering precipitation patterns and increasing evaporation rates, which of course can further strain water resources. So to address these challenges, Saudi Arabia has taken several measures. Implementing pricing mechanisms to encourage more responsible water usage and reduce wasteful consumption is one at that. They also began promoting more water-efficient agricultural practices, such as the drip irrigation and hydroponics, to reduce water consumption in farming. Investing in research and development to find sustainable solutions to the water crisis, such as exploring alternative water sources and renewable energy power desalination. Which brings us to NEOM, Saudi Arabia's vision for the future. Water management is a critical aspect of the NEOM project due to the arid climate of the region and the limited availability of fresh water resources. NEOM aims to implement innovative and sustainable water management strategies to ensure the city's water needs are met while minimizing the impact on the environment. Given the scarcity of fresh water, NEOM is expected to rely heavily on desalination to produce potable water. Desalination involves removing salt and impurities from seawater to make it suitable for drinking and other uses. The city plans to utilize advanced desalination technologies to ensure a stable water supply. NEOM is likely to incorporate cutting-edge water conservation practices and technologies to reduce water waste. This could involve using efficient irrigation methods for landscaping and agriculture, as well as implementing smart water management systems that monitor and optimize water usage. NEOM's landscaping and urban planning could be designed to minimize water consumption. This might include select drought-resistant plants, using efficient irrigation techniques, and designing green spaces that require less water. It's important to note that while NEOM's water management plans are ambitious, the success of these initiatives will depend on a combination of technological advancements, effective governance, and ongoing commitment to sustainability principles. So, what do you think of Saudi's water initiatives? Share with us in the comment section and we'll be sure to read them. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.